Federal hearings continue today in the Wake County redistricting case. Last month, a federal appeals court overturned the maps drawn by the Republican-led General Assembly that affect the county commission as well as school board races. A judge just wrapped up a status hearing on the case. CBS North Carolina's Bo Minnick was there. He joins us now live from outside the federal courthouse. And Bo, what have you learned? Sean, today in court, an attorney for the Wake County Board of Elections said that they are in dire need of guidance. Right now, the clock really is ticking on elections officials to get these district lines adjusted. So there are a number of different possibilities that are in play right now. Attorneys for the plaintiffs say the lines should go back to the way they were before Republican state lawmakers changed them back in 2013. There also is a map that legislative leaders say they'd like to present to the judge. And there even was the possibility brought up today of having two different sets of absentee ballots. There would be one set, one absentee ballot, that would be just for Wake County Commissioner and school board races. Yeah, I think that's something we, we're concerned about because we want to make sure that what is sent out to uh, Wake County voters is what's sent out to every voter in North Carolina. You want one ballot. We don't want confusion. We want to make sure everybody gets one ballot that has all the races that they're eligible for. So that's what we're shooting for and we're hoping for. So absentee ballots must go out in the mail by starting by September 9th. And today in court, elections officials say they typically take about a month to prepare. So, you know, you do the math there. Elections officials are saying that really they need to have a resolution to all this within the next week here. So far today, no decision by the judge. Live in Raleigh, Bowman, CBS, North Carolina.